So first thing to note, uh, starting from the first equilibrium, we can see that if tightness hasn't changed in the market, you know, if, if we were able to keep the tightness constant, um, so for instance, imagine you change UI only for one individual worker. If it's only that worker who is affected, so tightness wouldn't change. Okay, uh, so that's that's what would happen. So then, what would happen to that worker? Well, that worker would face the same tightness, but with a higher UI, the worker would search less. Okay, if you increase UI for just one unique worker, sort uh, sort experiment. So what we would see is that the probability to find a job for that one worker would be less. By how much less? Well, that's what's described here. So you can see that um, at a given tightness, the labor supply, which here captures you know, the number of jobs, the number of people who have a job, but you know because here it's just a one period model, it's also the probability to find a job because initially everybody is unemployed. So you can see that the probability to have a job actually is, uh, is falling from that initial L to this new point here. And so what causes that reduction? Well, it's the fact that um, people search less. And this, usually we often call that the moral hazard um, kind of uh, channel through which UI affects the labor market. So why is it called moral hazard? It's because, you know, Moral hazard is when a policy has uh, an effect on actions of um, you know, agents that cannot be observed, that cannot be controlled. So here, um, the action that we're talking about is search effort. Search effort is not observed by the government. Search effort is not controlled by the government. You know, people decide how much to search just based on the incentives that they, they face. When you increase UI, your incentives to search fall, um, and so that's you know that's a negative consequence of the increase of UI. We call it moral hazard because you know the government is trying to uh, achieve something, but uh, something that gets in the way is the response of agents to the program that the government uh, is setting up. Okay, um, so actually this, so we can. Uh, This is a new employment level. And then, uh, as a reference, I'm going to put the old employment level. So this reduction here in uh, in employment, keeping tightness constant, uh, sometimes you will, uh, you will see it referred to as a moral hazard. Uh, moral hazard channel. So it's because that's really, uh, so this is due, this reduction here, to purely a reduction in effort. When, uh, when we increase UI. Okay, um, and in fact, uh, when you read about unemployment insurance, very often you will see this, this discussion that when you increase UI or people have less incentive to search, that's going to lead to less employment. So what people have in mind is exactly that, this moral hazard effect of UI and the, the fact that uh, when people search less, you may reduce uh, employment. And so in fact, you know, we could uh, So we could label you know, this uh, I could label this employment level L prime. The fact that L prime is less than S here than L is due to the fact that people um, people search less. 